Libra, August 2020. Sorry for the delay. This is your messages. Let's start with a song or a quote. You have Drake in my feelings. And when I take you shopping, you spent it like you earned it. I need that black card and the code to the safe. You have the umbrella. Protection, a force field, supervision, surveillance, governess, elitism. So maybe there is a lot of retail therapy going on. You have owl, awareness. Maybe somebody reveals their feelings at night or in the rain. The owl symbolizes a heightened awareness. The owl is able to see in the dark, which means it is able to see through illusions. There may be a situation in which you are able to see certain information. You will feel that this information can't be disclosed. There is an ability to see all points of view. Consider all angles before making a decision. So maybe you're aware of somebody's feelings and they're hiding it. Libra. Uh, what's going on with Libra? You have the King of Wands, older male fire sign, passionate. That's what's going on with you, what's going on in your head. You have the Knight of Swords, so possibly a Somebody hurrying towards you or a message coming in. Somebody feeling very passionate and wants to give a very quick message. Could be a drunk call or text. And your foundation, you have the sun. So happiness, uh, achieving a goal, moving on to the next journey. In the past, you had the Four of Swords, being stuck in a state of seclusion, solitude. And in the present, you have Death in Reverse, so there was a change or ending supposed to happen that didn't. Let's read Death in Reverse. Being terrified of an ending or death, or of death, inability to let go. So maybe somebody doesn't want something to end. They don't want to let something go. They're in their feelings, but they're hiding their feelings. They might rush in with a happy, passionate message. Come out of seclusion. Let's get some clarifiers. Tell me about these guarded feelings. Ten of Swords, somebody feels like something is the end. Tell me about this message coming in. Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse is, let go of outcomes. Be careful not to identify with or become overly attached to the outcome of your efforts. So when you communicate or this person communicates with you, let everything be as it is. Don't expect anything. Um, for the death card, let's see what someone's not letting go of. The emperor. 
So that could be this male fire sign. Lack self-discipline, poor boundaries. When the emperor shows up in reverse, be ready to hold your ground. There may be a person in your life who calls all of the shots. This card can also represent an archetype you find within. Be aware of making assumptions or judging others. So somebody doesn't want to put an end to something with either the emperor, the male fire sign doesn't want to put an end to this, or you don't want to put an end to this, an ability to let go. Or maybe they don't want to reveal their feelings or wishes, hopes, desires. Uh, let's read the umbrella again. A protection, force field, supervision, surveillance, governance, elitism. So, rejection is protection. Let's get some advice. We'll go with the bird card. Advice for Libra. The Cedar of Lebanon. Speaks of spiritual strength. Trust your instincts and let your conscience guide you toward making the right decisions. Especially if you are currently facing a difficult challenge, know that you are as steadfast and grounded as the biggest trees in the forest. So maybe it's you making a decision to end something with this fire sign and you have the spiritual strength and awareness. You're protected. This person is hiding their feelings and not letting things be known. Maybe it's best to give them space. Good luck, Libra.